Vitaspeaks. Hi friends, Vitaspeaks here. So welcome to another session. So today I just want to do a sequel to the last um, talk I did on Peppers. Um, I had a lot of people reach out to me to share feedback on how that was enlightening to them and um, some to ask questions in which I would want to use this session to answer. So the first question that I got um, was the fact that can one person have multiple or find himself in multiple of those special abilities that I mentioned or, or, or gifts? Well, yes, actually yes. You can have someone who has talent and yet still has managerial skills or abilities and yet can still be a visionary. It happens, all right? But that notwithstanding, um, one would definitely be the most dominant of the three or um, perhaps in some cases of the two, all right? So we can have someone who, let's say is an artist, a musician, but he manages himself. He's not under a record label, he's not under a management company, he manages himself. And then he sets up his own record label much later in life and that's just it. So um, <laughs> inadvertently this person has literally moved through all of these three groupings if I should say. Um, yes the person definitely um, has all three of these special abilities but one is definitely m more dominant. Okay, um, You can think of it as an example, maybe an actor. An actor who you know starts out as an act actor much later in life begins directing and then eventually sets up his own product production company or production house and is at the top of it. Yes, so essentially um, the person has you know exuded all three of these gifts, but then one is definitely more dominant. Which probably is the fact that the person is a visionary but had a talent and so started out with a talent and grew through the ranks to becoming, you know, that visionary, like manifesting that vision that had always been within him. We see it a lot in different ways. Um, in fact, most visionaries may have started out as people who started using a talent and they built that um, vision around that talent that they have. You see that in the here of Kendall Sanders, um, who um, started out by frying chicken because that's a gift that he knew that he always had, um, you know, to be able to cook very delicious meals. And so he started frying chicken and then it grew. He had to manage his own firm at the point. So, so definitely, yes, we can have people who, you know, exude all of these giftings. But you see that with him, the ultimate was being a visionary. But he had to use something to start it out. That is use his talent and then manage that talent at a point in time and all of that. So definitely you can have people that have multiple of these um, gifts or special abilities, but one is more dominant. Yeah. And then the second question I, I got was, how do I find my purpose? Um, you know, <laughs> that's a question I, 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 I got a lot. And the most common answer I can give is a model of an ancient Japanese concept of finding purpose um, which is called Ikigai um, you may have heard of it which is basically just the intersection of these four things I'm about to mention one what you love two what you're good at three what you can get paid for and four what the world needs so think of this as a Venn diagram with four circles okay there's what you love something that you love doing than something that you are good at, exceptionally good at. Because sometimes you can love something but you're not good at it. Maybe you love football but you're not good at it. So something you love, something you're good at, something you can get paid for, and something the world needs. And when you put these four circles together, the intersect of it is what you can use to find that purpose. So you need to answer these questions. What do I love? What am I good at? What does the world need? And what can I get paid for? And by going through this um, model, you should arrive at something that you can call a purpose. And I hope this helps. So until next time, just stay safe and keep on walking in the fullness of your purpose. Cheers. Right to speech.